What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com back with another SketchUp extension video for you. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about my top 10 free extensions for 2018 in SketchUp. Now before I get started, today's video is brought to you by the SketchUp Essentials course. The SketchUp Essentials course is a course that I created to give a start to finish training in SketchUp. So if you wanna take your SketchUp training to the next level, make sure you check that out at the SketchUpEssentials.com slash course. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so if you're looking to download any of these extensions, they're all gonna be linked in the notes below the video. So some of these, you're gonna have to create a free Sketchication login. So I got a lot of questions about this last year. So in order to register for the free login, you go to sketchication.com, go up to register, then there's an option at the top of the page for want to register for a free account. And you can sign up for the free account up there. So, and then you're gonna be able to download extensions from their plugin store. So extension number one is Curvaloft. Curvaloft is one of my personal favorites. It's great for creating skins along frames and other complex sets of lines. Functions include the ability to create objects along paths, as well as skins on frames, giving you the ability to create truly organic models within SketchUp. Extension two is joint push pull. Have you ever gotten the message in SketchUp that you can't push pull a curved surface? This extension allows you to do that, as well as push pulling multiple surfaces as once, at once, creating solids by using the vector push pull and more. This is a great extension for adding thickness to complex objects. Clothworks is a new addition to our list this year, brand new from the developer of the MS Physics extension. It's a realistic cloth simulation tool that can be used to simulate draped cloth, hanging cloth, and more. While the full version has some unlockable features like movable, fin movable pins and different kinds of smoothing, the free version still allow you, allows you to drape and simulate some cloth. This extension also maintains your textures on your cloth objects, allowing you to create very sophisticated simulated cloth within your models. Fredo Scale and True Bend. So last year, I featured Fredo Scale for its ability to bend objects within SketchUp, as well as a bunch of the other scaling features that it has included. This year, I'm still featuring Fredo Scale, especially because it has such a great suite of scaling tools, um, specifically the radial bend tool, but with a catch. I'm also recommending a new extension from TomTom Tom that allows you to bend objects along a 360 degree radius, while Fredo Scale only bends objects along 180 degrees. Both are excellent free tools tools to have in your toolbox. So one of the areas where SketchUp lacks a little bit is in the animation functions. You can definitely use section planes and moving cameras to create some animations, but you can't do but you can't create animations that allow you to actually have moving geometry in a base SketchUp install. However, with the extension Animator, you can animate the movement of objects as well as about anything else you could think of within SketchUp. This extension is a must if you want to create moving animations in your SketchUp models. One of the most powerful extensions for SketchUp is Flowify, which allows you to bend geometry based on a target shape with four corners. This allows for the creation of more complex shapes and objects by using a complex target shape. Setting up your models properly is going to be very important, so I'd recommend watching one of the tutorial videos I've linked down below to make sure you're setting everything up properly. Slicer allows you to take solid shapes and break them up into different slices, allowing you to make very interesting geometry. In addition, this, this can also set up your shape so that they can be exported to a CNC routing machine, allowing you to create real models from these shapes in real life. Note that shapes for Slicer have to be solids, so you may need to use a tool like Solid Inspector to help you create the solid geometry. FFD is an extension that allows you to create a bounding box around a group of geometry. You can then manipulate the points in that box in order to manipulate the geometry. When you move these points, FFD will use those points to deform your shape. Note that this only works with objects that have been subdivided, so make sure to divide up your geometry before trying to use this tool. Soapskin and Bubble is an extension that allows you to select a frame, create a face along it, and then inflate it to create different kinds of faces. 
This is an excellent extension for the creation of shapes like tensile structures. In addition, if you're just looking to generate a complex face along difficult lines, this extension is great for that as well. As we move forward with SketchUp, UV mapping and proper placement of materials is becoming more and more important, especially with the ability to export to other engines like Unreal Engine and that sort of thing. Through Paint is an extension contained in Fredo Tools, another collection of extensions from Fredo 6. This extension allows you to really customize the location and mapping of materials within your SketchUp models, especially on complex faces. It has a lot of different features including scaling, mapping, and placing textures on complex shapes in SketchUp. That's where I'm going to end this video. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. Did your favorite extension make the list? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing in this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.